Welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to explain how to insert a Google Map or online map into AutoCAD 2020. Here, this is our interface. Click on insert. Then here, you can see set locations. Click on it here. Here we have two options. From map, this is online version. And from file, the Google file. So now in this case I am going to explain from map method. So click on this. Then you can see the map is inserted. Click on here and search the location. So if you want you can search any locations from this search bar. In this case I am going to search EFK. So this is my location. So click on it here. So here you have drop marker here then you can place the drop marker to place it here click on next in this dialog box we have to set the coordinate system you can select which coordinate system in your country you are using you can use the system click on here to change the time time location so in this case my time 9 is 5 30 and you can select anywhere from these systems so click on next then you can insert the point location you can anywhere you can insert in this case i am going to insert 0 comma 0 and enter here located and especially note the direction angle is 90 yes default is so in uh, enter press enter so, so it's all already the map, map is placed now it's downloading from online here you can see all our sheets converted to map then you can zoom zoom your area and you can draw any drawings from our AutoCAD system here we have some options in the top of this bar you can mark the latitude and longitude the map location and point so those are you can mark here we have some or several options the map aerial method which is the default then you can change the map road map method the click on it here according to your internet connection it will vary you can zoom out then you can find the road map click on here then map hybrid both it means map and aerial type you can see both are available you want you can use a map of if you if you drawn all your drawings then click on map of then you can see your sheet very well so I am going to click again here next interest, interesting topic is here so click on this capture viewport capture area it means the automatically capture area and we can edit those areas and also capture viewport means this viewport will be captured so click on capture and I am going to place I am going to capture this area right already captured you can move this one from here you can use the AutoCAD command here this is our viewport you can draw anywhere or move anywhere to edit the image here is we have any image if you want you can change the adjustments the contrast and fade click on it here and you can use very fine it's area the high quality image which is given by the online you can see here you can adjust anywhere to see the details if you insert a drone clip, click reorient marker. Click on it here and you can reorient your drawing or your map. You can insert any other coordinates to place drawing again. Here we have clipped area. If you want only this area, you can use the command or the options is map off. Click it here is off the background so we want only this one so you can use this map options to insert into AutoCAD to draw or edit further details for example click on home 
if you if i want to measure this area you can use the polyline then click it here i ju just draw to convert it into arc enter this is our polyline area click on it and right click go to properties you can see the area how much yeah you can see the area perimeter is this and the area is like this see in millimeters you can convert it to here square meters so from square millimeters to square meters how much this one it will be converted so it is a easy way to insert map and find the areas or site plans likewise you can edit further i hope this video is very useful because some subscribers asked me to insert maps into autocad but uh, earlier days we used to insert the map by images or attachments but in this case i'm just inserted from online these options are available in 2020. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share.